All right, for starters, I'm tired, but I want to get out a word of encouragement before I go to bed. I want to get out some words of advice. Um, pretty much on how to overcome temptation. And it may take many tries. It may take praying without ceasing. So, uh, and it also involves using the Bible. So let's say the devil is tempting you with lust. The devil is tempting you to fornicate. So bring to the devil's attention and speak it out loud and in an th in authority. Say, say, Satan, say something like this. Satan, I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says thou shalt not fornicate. The word of God says thou shalt not lust. The word of God says thou shalt not commit adultery or lasciviousness. For no adulterers have any inheritance in the kingdom of God. So by the power and authority of Jesus Christ, I command you to flee me right now. Right now. You have no authority over me, Satan. I know what you're planning on. I know what you're planning on doing. I know what you're trying to do to me, Satan. I know what you're trying to tempt me with. And it's not going to work, and I command you to leave me. Release me. I plead the blood over this whole room. I plead the blood over, over my whole entire body. And I command you to flee me. And repeat that several times. And that's, that's, that's one one prayer right there that can help you overcome and resist the devil. Just repeat those prayers over and over and over. And it may take many tries. I'm not saying you won't stumble at times. But I'm saying that the more and more you stay in prayer and the more and more you rebuke the devil and, and resist the devil through prayer. Telling him what the word of God says. On what God does not allow us to do. The more and more strength God will give you. And he will help you grow because cause, cause that's basically showing God, hey, you want to grow. You want to do better. You want to avoid you want to avoid stumbling to these temptations. And God's going to make you stronger and stronger each time. Take that advice, brothers and sisters, and go in peace.